Right, over on the hill there, I'll just zoom in, there's some deer sat down. Look like um, female deer. That's a bird. There's one there with, looking over and there's another one sideways. There could be one in the middle. Hey, that one just, no, that was a bird there. I wonder if that's a dead deer. They spotted me because they can hear me, see? So, so, so I spotted some at the moment. I, I remember them from last time being on there. Yeah, I was just zooming again, wasn't it? There's three deer. Three. It's all right. I've just spotted the deer over there. They're usually over there. I they spend a lot of time on that hill anyway. They're sat down, so they're not like stand. You know, they're not too. Yeah, I can see them. They, I can see them with a the zoom lens, easy. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to get out when it's nice, haven't you? Oh, really? Leave all the jobs. Yeah, leave it all. Drop everything. Yes, definitely. I've got a feeling those people... I've got people on... Uh, on the video then, <laughs> I got a feeling, I didn't realise it was still turned on, I still, I've been walking along not knowing the camera's turned on. <laughs> Over and out, I'll have to probably edit that. Right up the top of the track now, just past the horses again, they've been on the circuit. Hinkley Point right over there. The giant crane's still there. A and B power stations. There's a dome there, a silver dome, you might just be able to see it. Not far from the orange crane. Then there's some Cylons there, or Silos, what you call them. Um, I think they were putting them up last time I walked the coast. So that's uh, continued to develop. And there's Smith's Coombe down there, which I explored about two years ago, and I did it. I think I came down it last time I did it. And here we have the Pondock the Hills and all their glory. Right up there, there's some people standing on the corn, the beacon. I might turn off before that. I don't know if I'm going up there or not. So there's a beacon up there. Some people with their dogs having their photographs taken. Beacon Hill, or whatever it's called. It's got a name. I, I can never remember. I, I can't remember until I get home and get the map out. <laughs> I know the plantation's over there. The other side of the hill. And the Weakham Coombe that I, I'd done this year. I think I went up it. And I think I went down it all in one year. All this year. Um, up there's the lovely coombe that you go down there, Smith's Coombe it's called, and you pick up the Coleridge Walk down the bottom, which weaves its way around back to Holford. I just wanted to do a slightly different route before going down in the coombes on the way back to Alberta. I like I said, I'm not sure if I'll go up on the cant. I might just uh, get as far as a crossroad up there somewhere and then turn I don't always have to do every point that you see you know what I mean yeah. poor Alberta somebody threatened her with a brick um, I found brick marks I found the brick on the floor and I found brick marks on her passenger window when I was cleaning. 
found the brick the brick on, parts of brick on it so whether they tried to smash it there's no sign of a scratch or anything so it's a bit maybe it just bounced off it could have been thrown from a distance and uh, fortunately it didn't hit the very windscreen some deer there. Look, I just took some pictures of them a minute ago. I picked them up with the naked eye, actually. It's maybe a young deer and a, with its mother. They're both staring over. Yeah, I picked them up with the naked eye. I'll zoom out. You can see how difficult it could be to sit with naked eye because it blend in so well. But look, I'm pulling away. Pulling away. Pulling away. Would you have noticed them from what my distance? I did. That's how good my eyes are. Very good eyes. I always have had very good long sight. Yeah, if you look now, I, I can still, because I've got good eyes, I can still see them. They just like changing. So I've just been passed by two blokes and a dog, and two dogs. There's, um, God, I can't remember the name of it now. Great big hill over by mine head that I've been up. <laughs> Some sort of tour with a carn on top. Over near all the woods I went in this, uh, in September, not long ago. I just can't remember what it'll come to me. I always forget it. For some reason, I always forget its name. Dunkery Beacon. There we go, remembered. Dunkery Beacon. That's what it is. Right. I'm not going to go all the way up there. Because all the way up there is the... Uh, another beacon. On Beacon Hill. So. There's a lovely view though, look. Panoramic, panoramic here almost. There's all the other hills. I'm going to head back that way now. So I had thought about doing the lower route right the way to where those men are, but then I thought, no, there's no, no great need to do everything. I'm going to turn off and take a picture of Dunkery Beacon in special way. Some people coming. And I've just got up to Bicknoller Post and I've come across the pony sunbathing. There's that lovely white one there, look. Beautiful, isn't he? Beautiful sand in there in the sunshine. Really lovely, enjoying it. There's another really nice, well they're all nice, but that one there, he's got, he's really beautiful. He's lovely front paws. He's gorgeous. There's another one somewhere. Oh, there he is. Yeah, they're all sunbathing. They're looking over. Aren't you, eh? Hey? You're beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful, darling. I love you. Yeah. All right, I've been doing a bit of sort of exploring. Here we've got Bitcanola Pole. This is a junction point for lots of different ways back across to Holford, down through Holford Coombs, 
Um, I say the ponies are absolutely gorgeous here. The sun's in my eyes a bit, so I can't quite focus properly. But I've taken some lovely pictures of them. And I'm... I might just do a little bit of a diversion now about something I've not visited really. A slight diversion. And uh, it's going to take me over to a bit of a copse, which I haven't visited before. It's above Bicknoller. Then I'll come back round and go back down a coombe. Um, so basically, I'm going, I'm going up here, I think. I'm going up here. I hope this is the right one. I don't want to go on the wrong one. You can never really tell. I'll try this one out. This could be the wrong one. Lovely view though, look, look at that. My Ned over there. My Ned. We're on that big hill, North Hill. I climbed all like that in September. Went all the way along it on the other side, in the, the rough route. I did, stayed at Porlock. It's a really beautiful day today, everyone. Beautiful ponies. They're all very beautiful, aren't you, darlings? Yes, you are. The sunbathing, they are literally sunbathing. I don't know if this is the right route. I'll go along it a bit. If it's the wrong one, the one I want is a bit further over then. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'll just try this one for a little while. Once we get up on the hill here, I'll be able to tell. I just thought I don't want to go back straight back down a coombe yet. Back to the van. I haven't been out that long. It's not a massive walk I'm doing today. Oh, God, just look at that blue sea. There's a liner going out or in. Going out, I think. I'm having to use the battery charger for this. Camera was dead flat, even though it had been charged. There they are, they're all facing the sun. The ponies. Beautiful ponies. Look, look at them. Look. Really beautiful, aren't they? Look at them. Gorgeous, gorgeous horses. They might be horses. Somebody coming. I tried to keep on me own. I can't video, you see, if I'm, um, I have to walk along with others. You can't video properly. And I don't even know if this is the right track, whether I should be on the one up there. Not sure yet. It might join up anyway. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not hungry. I had a nice ham and cheese roll when I, I bought it from the garage when I put petrol in. And uh, I, I had my breakfast at half five this morning. In fact, I should really have got up a lot earlier. Right, I'm going to carry on from. I might be doing the wrong one, by the way. I could be doing the wrong one yet. But I'll go and have a look. Could be doing the wrong one. What's happening in the world? Yeah, well, I got my poll card the other day for the general election in 12th of December down at the local Clarence Park Baptist Church. They're having the election voting taking place there. First time I would have voted there. And uh, the first time I would have voted at all. In this house I'm in at the moment. I don't know if the cows are out. Now let's just have a look. 
I reckon, no, don't go that way. Carry on up here, Sheila, and you might see a path. <sighs> you don't want to go down there. that would probably take you down to the Weakham Valley. Cyclists out. There's a few people out today. It does bring people out when it's lovely weather. Everybody wants fresh air. <sighs> yeah, I quite often follow that track straight across there, La Lady's Edge, around the top of the coombe back. But I'm going, I'm going around the other way. I'm going to pick up one of the other coombs. Um, but I just thought I'd just do a bit more adventuring. Over and out.